friends welcome to this video this is rohit in this video i will try to demonstrate you how to throw exception of class type okay so instead of throwing exception of predefined types like integer float character we can create classes and we can throw exception of class types as exceptions so basically for this empty classes are useful in the exception handling okay so we will try to understand this concepts with help of certain example okay so for understanding this i will try to create one class so let's try to create one class here class zero error this is empty class okay as we do not have any properties or methods within this class okay and we will try to throw error of this type of class zero error any name you can put for your class as per the error you want to throw okay now inside this main function i will create one try block and let's try to create one function add okay now this function will add two numbers okay now let's try to define this add function so i will define it like this void add as it is not returning any value that's why return type will be void now in, in this function i will create two local variables a and b so a will be with value 10 and b will be with value 0 and now what i will do i will define one condition here okay so if value of a is 0 or value of b is 0 oh okay so if value of a is 0 or value of b is 0 we will try to throw exception throw exception so we will try to throw exception of type class zero error so here i will write zero error okay so this statement will throw exception of type of type zero error okay and whatever exception we will throw here we will try to catch it in the main function after try block okay so here i will define catch block and which type of exception i am throwing here of type class zero error so i will create object of this class to catch the thrown exception so here i will create object of zero error class zero error class so let's say object e and here we will write some statement exception caught exception caught okay so what we have done in this program so inside main function under try block i am calling one function add now within this add function i have two variables a and b so a with value 10 and b with value 0 and i am defining one condition for throwing exception if any of value is 0 a or b the exception will be thrown okay otherwise what i will do i will try to print addition of a and b so if exception is not thrown then addition will be printed so addition is so here i will write a plus b okay so right now b value is 0 so this condition will get true and exception will be raised here it will be thrown and where it will be caught so it will be caught here in this catch block okay so what type of exception we are throwing here we are throwing exception of type zero error okay so same kind of catch block we will need here so this catch block will be able to catch the exception of type zero error okay so if you define any other catch block the exception caught will get fail and it will lead to calling unexpected function and it will lead to calling abort function okay due to which your program will get terminated abnormally okay so let's try to compile this program what happen we will try to see okay so to compile this program i will press control b 
building is started okay building is finished now let's try to understand the output okay what output we got exception caught now how this output we got here so the program started here in the main function so first of all control will come inside of this try block and it will call the add function so as soon as this statement will encounter encounter the control will go to add function now within add function we have declared two local variables a and b okay a with value 10 b with value 0 and we are defining one condition for throwing exception so if value of a is 0 or value of b is 0 then exception will be thrown okay so right now value of b is 0 that's why it will throw the exception of type 0 error okay and as soon as this statement will encounter the control will try to find out appropriate cache block for handling the exception so here we have cache block of type 0 error okay so we have thrown exception of type 0 error and here the exception which we have thrown will get caught okay and we will get the output exception caught here okay so this program will demonstrate how we can use empty classes for generating and handling exceptions okay so empty classes are used for generating and handling exceptions in c++ okay so friends if you find this video useful please like and share i will meet you in another video thank you for watching